Lisa Valentine here, Design Team Coordinator for Swirly Doos Kit Club. We can be found at www.swirlydoos.com and welcome to our August kit. Oh my gosh. Um, this is gorgeous and I gotta say right now, Angelica, this is so up your alley. Um, Alright, let's get right to it. First thing we have here, as we have every month, is a small pot of our um, of some uh, acrylic silks glaze, and this one is in pink anthurium. Um, great stuff. Again, if you're a member of our kit club, you get one of these in a different color every month to help build up your collection. We have this great little picket fence here. Can you see this? Ah, so much fun. Petaloo's hat pin accessories. Um, these are great little accessories. Can be used anywhere. Embellish your flowers. Embellish your pictures. Embellish your laces. You're getting the picture here. Petaloo's fancy trims. Again, beautiful, lovely shades of pink. These are really pretty trims. High quality. Prima flowers. Are you guys getting the pink thing theme going here? This is why, and you work so beautifully with pinks and purples in this your pages this month are going to just blow me away. Um, Prima flowers. Prima say it in crystals. Little embellishments here. And this, I don't know if you can kind of see the color or not. It's kind of like a, like a gray. Um, not quite black onyx, but, but gray. Does it tell you what color? I guess it doesn't matter. You have to take my word for it. Prima wooden pieces here. So we've got some uh, doors and then, you know, like transoms here. These little circular things <laughs> half circle anyway stamps clear stamps here uh, from Prima all right these are great I love these little tiny saying thingies because I suck at titles <laughs> and this just helps me out so much um, and it's great because they're small so they're not going to take up a huge part of your page so if you really chunk up your page and throw all sorts of stuff at it it's easy to fit these in in little tiny unexpected places. Now to the paper. This is Splash of Color by IOD. Look it! Can you guys see this? Oh my goodness, look at all these great things you can cut out and fussy cut. Our fussy cutters are going to go nuts with this. Beautiful second page here. Can you see that detail? It's got great kind of lace the top and at the bottom and I'm a freak for text and there it all is. <gasps> Ooh, this is like the same one but in pink. Look it. Beautiful. Oh, look at these. Boy, you could really have fun cutting all this out, couldn't you? <laughs> oh, looky. <clears throat> dragonflies. I love dragonflies. This is great. These are like in some really pretty kind of blue grays with some muted greens. Beautiful colors. Again, great fussy cutting stuff here. Borders and edges. Beautiful. Look at this. Gorgeous. Dragonfly. This is really very beautiful paper. It's soft. It's it's vintage. It's shabby. It's so swirly doos. This is going to... ooh. I cannot wait to see our gallery this month. Oh my gosh. This is Bow Bunny. Ambrosia Primrose. Very pretty. Wow, guys, look at this. You know, you could really just fussy cut this out and kind of add it as embellishments along your sides or to kind of top off your pictures with. Beautiful stuff. Oh, look at how pretty. A wispy and whatnot. <clears throat> Back to the IOD. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Chinese lettering or Japanese. I'm sorry if it's not either one of those um, characters. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Kind of like negative prints. Pretty, pretty green. Soft. It's like a moss green, but, but you want to touch it. More IOD. Wow, look at how pretty. You know, sometimes I really have a hard time using this really pretty paper. Um... Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Love the peacocks. It's nice to see a, a variation on a theme and the peacocks and the, and the grass are um, dragonflies are really uh, a nice change. I like it. Woo. Looky, looky. Can you guys see this? Gorgeous. 
Wow. Beautiful. Well, this is just going to jump right out at you, isn't it? Uh, this is the uh, Creative Imaginations Paint It with Luminar. And I'm not sure that you can really see, but... Um, oh, yeah, you can. You can kind of get that shimmer. What's going to happen when you go to paint this is that it's not really going to stick to the shiny stuff. So you're really going to be able to just mist to your heart's content. And if you got the brand new medium add-on, which I'm going to show you soon, you're going to be able to use some of that on here along with some mists and some paints and you can throw all sorts of goopy stuff at this and it's going to be beautiful. And then one sheet of uh, Coordination's black cardstock in here with it. That is our main kit, folks. And um, wow, you know, Christy never disappoints. It's just jam-packed with stuff and it's beautiful. Um, all right. So let's get to the coordinated cardstock add-on. As you guys know, we get 12 sheets of cardstock that is color coordinated to our main kit. We have been using coordinations quite a bit. Our members are really happy with it because it's so versatile. It's just, you know, it's more than your normal cardstock. And you can see our colors here perfectly match our kit. Nice coordinating and contrasting colors. Perfect. Gorgeous. Okay, now we have our embellishment add-on. This is always so much fun. There's always little doodads tucked in here. By the way, you're seeing this for the first time like I am. So this is what I like to do when I do my videos, is I like to have an honest reaction the first time I see it. Um, so you guys can get my excitement. Ah. Okay. Ooh. So, you know, Petaloo has been coming out with some great accessories and, you know, this is just a perfect example of that. These are beautiful metal embellishments, um, little, well, little gemstone, put that on a ring. Woo! <clears throat> Petaloo's Darjeeling Butterflies uh, with text, beautiful, soft, sort of color washed colors. Prima Satan Crystal Sheets in pink. And look at this. Chipboard honeycomb. Ooh. <laughs> smooch. Boy, we haven't gotten one of these in a while. Uh, smooch in berry punch. What a fun color. And then our color box chalk in guacamole. Ooh. <laughs> and then we have here Prima. Let's see if I can get this out. It's resist canvas. And I know there's a bunch of us that just love canvas, and this is going to be so much fun to work with. So whether you use this as canvas as a whole, or you cut it out and use pieces of it, but let me see if I can get you to see this. Um, it's resist canvas, so this is a sheet of canvas, and then over the top of it are designs and laces and edges and things that have a resist over the top. So you can kind of see that shininess. So you all have worked with resist, where you go and you paint and you smush and you spray, and it's not going to stick to the resisted surface. So this is beautiful. That is our gorgeous embellishment kit. We also have a, um, a flower add-on. Prima, these beautiful blue, more Prima, great pinks. Oh, Bow Bunny. Jeez, I haven't seen Bow Bunny flowers in a long time in our kits. Now, aren't these pretty? Look at all glittery and whatnot. Can you see that? It's beautiful. It's got an edge of shimmer. This one's really pretty. Nice. And Petaloo Darjeeling. I am a sucker for this line um, of flowers from Petaloo. I just really love it. That is our flower add-on. And now... Our brandly newest add-on is our mediums kit. And uh, for those of you who have known me and have um, you know, seen anything that I've done, I really love texture and I love mediums and um, it adds such a nice dimension to your pages. And this is it, this is fun. We have a Viva Pearl Pen. Now, if you've never used a Viva Pearl Pen, I have a gob of them. <laughs> and I mean, truly, I have probably about eight different colors in this Viva Pearl Pen line. Um, it's great because if you go to create um, a little pearl, you know, rather than using like liquid pearls or something along those lines, it's really going to create a pearl. I mean, so you're not going to get that little like Hershey Kiss top to it. Um, it's beautiful and they dry actually pretty quickly. So that's a plus, especially if you're anything like I am and after the fact you decide you want to add pearls to something, but then you're going to have to wait and bleh, these dry pretty quickly. 
We also have Art Anthology uh, Velvet Dimensional Paint um, in Cotton Candy. This is going to be great. I'm so excited. This is this is the first time I've actually been able to use this mediums kit, and I'm so excited to get my hands on this. Uh, Faro Effect Paint. Uh, this has like this goldish, like a deep gold, almost like a tarnished gold kind of finish. And um, it, it dries with a texture, and it doesn't flake off or anything along those lines. <clears throat> I'm going to be using some of these things on my pages. So when you go through the blog hop, I'm going to try and list just a small, really quick tutorial on how I used it on a page. And uh, that way, if you guys have any questions, you can come out of the Swirly Deuce forum and post a question to me in the Ask Designer section. And, and all of us, actually, any of us on the design team who've used this will be happy to help you out. In addition, we have uh, Shimmers paints in textures. Uh, Tell me no lies. How funny is that? Pretty, 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 pretty stuff. Um, see, look at that. Yum. Talk about your goop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is our August kit. Take a look at the video below on our um, project technique kit where Ray is going to show you how she used that on her stunning designs. And then uh, have fun with the blog hop. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for coming.